So this week we got the full reveal of the Tom Holland life-size bus from Queen Studios. Is it a hit or miss? That's up next. Welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles, your one stop for all things high-end statue collecting reviews, unboxing statue chats, live entertainment like Rogues Gallery Live, and of course, hit or miss videos. I know so many of you ask, hey Chris, when's the next hit or miss video going to be coming out? And thank you so very much for following this series. And today we have a, a very special reveal but we also have very special news because we reported on this channel here recently that Queen Studios has their very first US licensed piece. And that means that it's going to be easier to get it in the United States, which is absolutely fantastic. And this is a life-size bus, and it is of Tom Holland. It is the Iron Spider. Of course, we already had an Iron Spider piece uh, from Queen Studios, a very popular piece. I believe it sold out pretty quickly. But now we have the unmasked portrait, and this is just insane how good it is. So is it going to be a hit or miss? Uh, probably going to be a pretty big hit in my book. Um, is it dynamic? No, but it is a it, just an incredible bust. And wait until you see this likeness. It is going to blow your mind. So without further ado, let's check out all the information that I have on this piece right now. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and dive right into this one to see if it really is a hit or miss or not. Um, this was actually sent to us by Queen Studios. This was a teaser that they sent out earlier this week, and it gave us an idea, obviously, of who the character is going to be. They also teased, you know, that they were going to have this big new U.S. license, and this was going to be the very first reveal. We weren't exactly sure uh, what the product's going to be, but clearly it is now going to be this incredible life-size bust um, of of Tom Holland and it, with, without question with this next photo right here like <laughs> let me just look at this portrait it is absolutely incredible in my opinion I think it looks absolutely just like him I think it is their best to date I think it is really really well done um, and of course this is from the Infinity Saga uh, this is of course Tom Holland this is going to be a platinum silicone um, very high grade silicone uh, hopefully it'll last a very very long time I have I have a lot of confidence that especially if you keep these silicone products in a cool nice dry place you will have no issues at all with these things but look at that look at that portrait like that is it is a photograph of the actor I mean really if you were scrolling on Facebook that's exactly what you would think it is just a portrait but then of course here you see it is just a bust um, and it looks incredible to me um, it, it is not dynamic it is not a dynamic uh, or at least not as dynamic as their original release that they did with the mask but it is still absolutely incredible and as you can see it is silicone it is all hand punched and then cut hair um, so it is going to be very very realistic it is going to have a tremendous amount of detail throughout obviously the statue itself is going to be polystone and it is going to look really really great you can see the level of detail the the exquisite paintwork here it really does uh, look amazing it looks just like <laughs> the actor and the costume itself it is just really impressive to me um, it's also going to have glass eyes so I just wanted to mention that as well um, this is the base here uh, it is very mechanical obviously this is the iron spider um, and so it's going to have a lot of mechanics to it it's not a, going to be just the regular traditional suit uh, I would love to see them do a spider-man um, with the traditional suit that would be really cool if they did that as well but obviously this is the license that they currently have for this and again it's very exciting that this is going to be available in the United States um, I did kind of want to give you guys a 360 spin here of this particular statue just so you can kind of get an idea of exactly what you're going to be getting I, I do think it looks good from all angles but obviously the superstar the main event here is that incredible Tom Holland portrait I just think it is absolutely incredible again platinum silicone glass eyes hand punched hair and there is no doubt uh, this is incredible I, I do truly truly believe this is the best likeness that Queen Studios has done to date and if they're this good now 
what are they going to be like in three or four years? Like, I, I just cannot wait to see what this company does. This is definitely a company on the rise, and it's very, very exciting to me. And again, that portrait is just absolutely beautiful, incredible, and I'm just blown away by it. Now, this is going to be 888 pieces worldwide. Um, it is going to be available in most countries, not all, but most. And again, the United States, which is a really, really big deal. It is going to allow uh, you to pick this one up a lot easier. And I am very excited. This is going to be available quarter four of 2022. So not that long of a wait. I, I just think, again, this is an incredible, incredible hit. Look at that portrait, guys. I mean, it is just, there's no questioning um, that Queen Studios did a really amazing job with this particular piece. I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say about it. But without a doubt, this is a major, major hit for this Batman statue collector. So there you guys have it. What did you think of this incredible life-size bust of Tom Holland? I personally think it is a near masterpiece. It is, I think, their best likeness to date. I think it's absolutely, it just blows everything out of the water. It looks so good. If you are a Spider-Man fan, if you are a Tom Holland fan, man, this one is going to be the one for you. It is just absolutely incredible. Of course, that platinum silicone, absolutely incredible. And I'm not really worried about it. I know some people are still worried about silicone. I think it's going to last 50 plus years. I've not had anything in my collection that's lasted, you know, over 15 years. So I think you're going to be okay. I think it's absolutely fantastic. But again, I'm going to turn it over to you guys. What do you think of this bust? What do you think of the likeness? What do you think uh, of how they sculpted it? I mean, I, I want to know all of it. I want to know what you guys think. Because again, I think it is a double thumbs up hit for the Batman Statue Collector. Is it one that I'm going to have in my collection? Probably not. I would love to review it for you guys if I ever get the opportunity. Or if one of you out there want to review it for our channel, I would love that as well. But let me know if you're going to order it down below. Thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. As always, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you want to take it one step further, hit that join button down below for early access to our videos and other perks. And just thank you guys for taking time out of your day to check out what I think about this piece. Thank you so very much for watching. We'll see you next time right here in the Batcave. Spider-Man, big, big hit. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.